Hi everyone, today we are going to implement the zoom functionality. We are going to allow the user by scrolling the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. We are going to implement that in a way that by pointing to a specific position on the map, we are going to zoom in towards that position. As always, there are links in the description to the GitHub page so you can just get the finished controller and timestamps for specific implementation parts. Let's get started. First, we need a way to know if the user wants to zoom in or zoom out. So, in our project setting, in the input map, we are going to add two inputs. Camera, zoom in, and camera, zoom out. I'm going to choose to use the wheel up button to zoom in and the wheel down button to zoom out. In the camera controller script, in the unhandled input, we're going to test if we are zooming. We're going to, first of all, clean up the code a little bit. All these parameters are having to do with the movement, so we're going to give them this title. And we're going to add the new section for our zoom. We need a variable to let us know the direction the user wants to zoom to. So we're going to add a var variable called zoom direction. And we're going to initialize it to be zero. Zero will always be no zoom. Now we can test if event is action pressed. Zoom in. We're going to set the zoom direction to be negative one. Otherwise, If event is action pressed, zoom out, we are going to set the zoom direction to be 1. We are now going to add some export parameters to allow ourselves to control the zoom from the editor. So we will add title called zoom and we are going to add the following parameters. parameters are the minimum zoom. This is the minimum value that we allow the camera to get close to the scene. Based on the objects on your scene, you can prevent the camera to go too close and start clipping. We also add the maximum zoom. We add the zoom speed and we add a zoom speed damp. This parameter might not be immediately apparent, but in the by the end of the video, you are going to understand why I added it and how we are going to use it. I also added another flag. The flag is zoom to cursor. We are going to allow the user to choose whether he wants to zoom towards the center of where the camera is looking at or towards the mouse cursor. Now we can start working on our zoom function, which again is going to get delta as a parameter. Again, zoom is going to be a private function with delta as a parameter, which is a float, and it will return nothing. Zoom is going to work like this. Calculate the new zoom. Clamp it between min and max zoom. In the future, we are going to add two more th things here which are going to be slowly damp the speed and zoom towards the mouse cursor but for now we are just going to do those two things so the variable new zoom is going to be controlled by our camera node z translation 
and again we are going to move to the preview scene and by selecting the camera and changing the Z value you can see that I am zooming in and out so by changing this value we can control our zoom again we don't want to every frame try and find the camera node so we are going to cache it so on ready var the camera is going to be the camera now what we can do is new zoom is going to be clamp camera translation dot z we're going to add zoom speed and we are going to scale it by delta and by the zoom direction the clamping of the value is going to be between the minimum zoom and the maximum zoom now we have the new zoom we can simply use camera dot translation dot z equals new zoom we now have to stop the scroll that's it we're all set let's run our scene you can see that when I zoom out the camera zooms out and when I scroll upwards the camera moves in we can immediately see that the speed is way too slow so we're going to change the zoom speed to something like 50 and run it again and we can see that now each time I scroll I get this bigger movement however I don't like this behavior and uh, as a user so what I would like to happen is if I do a very big scroll I want the scrolling to continue slightly after I already stopped scrolling the wheel so here you can see as long as I'm scrolling the camera is moving but when I stop the camera immediately stop so we're going to use this zoom speed damp parameter that I initialized to make this happen so so the way we are going to do it is instead of just setting the zoom direction to be zero we are going to scale the zoom direction by zoom speed damp and we are going to test if zoom direction and the absolute value because zoom direction might be negative is less than or equal to some small number we're going to just set it to be zero meaning we're not immediately stopping we're going to stop over several frames we can now run and see the results we can see that now I can by just slightly scrolling get much more uh, fluid and natural movement and I like this behavior much more and we can also test all the other behavior that we, want, we have I have the inverted Y selected here don't judge me too harshly for that and we have the WASD movement and we can see that we have a very nice camera however one thing that I still want to do is I like to when I ever wherever I point the mouse at and zoom I like the mouse to stay at the same location which gives the effect of zooming towards the mouse cursor so we are going to implement this and we'll have a very functioning RTS camera controller the way we are going to do that is by first of all 
finding where on our 3D world the mouse cursor is pointing at. For that we are going to implement a new function called func get new sorry get ground click location it is going to return a vector 3 because we are trying to find where we are pointing at so how is this function going to work and I'm going to stop looking at the preview and we are going to look at the 3d world so the camera works the following if you look here at the tip of this pyramid this is the camera position and the rectangle here represents our viewport so meaning there's a ray being sent from the camera location to each pixel on the viewport and where whenever the, this ray touches an object it's going to color the pixel in the color of that object this is a very simplified um, way of understanding how the camera works but it's good enough for our purposes so what we are going to do is going to send a ray from the camera position towards where the mouse cursor is on the viewport and then extend this ray until it touches the plane which lies on the 0, 0, 0 coordinate and this plane on this image is this white grid or in our scene is our ground and we're going to try and keep the mouse cursor always over the same 3d point so how do we get the ground click location first of all we're going to define two new variables and one of them is going to be a const it's going to be called ground plane and it's going to be an object of type plane and a plane again if you study linear algebra this is going to be very clear for you and if not that's fine you can just copy the code we are going to give it a, a normal of vector 3 dot up and we are going to set its origin at 0 we are also going to define array length parameter and it's going to be 1000 with those two parameters we can go down to our get ground click location and we are going to write the following code so the get ground click location is going to work like this we are going to get the mouse position from the viewport we are going to get the 3d coordinate of the mouse cursor using our camera we are going to draw a line from the ray beginning from where our cursor is in the 3d world using the vector between our camera to the ray start and it's going to have a length of ray length and then we are going to take our ground plane and intersect this ray with it and this is going to return a vector 3 which is the location in the 3d space of where our mouse cursor is pointing and again if you don't understand the math here feel free to just copy the code and if you are interested in these types of calculations you can write it down in the comments and I can make videos uh, explaining these topics in more depth so now we have a function that allows us to get the ground click location and we are going to use it in our zoom function so now just before I start I see I wrote the documentation wrong so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and now just before we zoom we are going to save where our mouse cursor was pointing at before we zoomed in so save 
three D position, and we are going to define a variable called pointing at. It's going to be equal to get ground click location. Then after we zoom, we want to move the camera such that we are pointing at the same location. So this is the location we were pointing at before we zoom. We zoomed in the camera and now we want to move the camera to where we were previously pointing at. How are we going to do it? I'm going to again define a new function and I'm going to call it realign the camera. This function is going to get a location which is a vector 3 and is going to return nothing. This function is first going to calculate where we need to move and then going to move the camera based on that calculation. So the new position we are in is going to be get ground click location. And for consistency, I'm going to rename it to location. So the displacement is going to be the old location minus the new location. Then we can simply say translation plus gets the displacement. And now just before we hit run, we said that we wanted to allow the user to decide whether or not he wants to scroll towards the camera. So now we can simply add in our zoom function, if zoom to cursor, we align camera using our old pointing at vector. And now we can go to our RTS camera controller, mark the zoom to cursor flag as being true, and when we hit run, I can place my cursor on a location on the map, and when I zoom in or out, you can see that I zoom towards the mouse cursor. So this crash just showed us that sometimes when we ask for the ground position, we get a null vector. So instead of just testing if we want to zoom to cursor, we can also uh, test that we have a valid pointing at position. So and pointing at is different than null. And now we can run it again. And you can see that I zoom towards the mouse cursor. And if I go to a place where my mouse is not pointing at the ground plane, I don't get a crash and I can still zoom in. And that's it for now. We have a zoom, some movement and rotation. And that is all for this video. In the next one, we are going to implement pen and jump events. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments and I will answer. See you next time. Goodbye.